and I will be showing you how to use my data wall as a, a good re assessment for your students and also a good assessment for your teachers. So what we're going to be looking at is three third graders. I have red dots here correlating with their red color. We have Billy, Margaret, and Ralph. So at the beginning of the year, we have Fountains and Pinal testing right away as fast as possible to get the students assessed and see how they're doing on their reading. So what we're going to do here is show their Fountains and Pinal reading uh, levels. So for Billy, we have him receiving an O on his reading assessment. So we'll put him over here in the O category. We have Margaret getting an R, so we'll move Margaret to R. And we have Ralph getting an L. So we'll move him over to the L. Since there is no other assessment, you're just placing him on this vertical axis. So what you can also see here is the students have uh, they're showing their current grade level. So we have third grade, a second grade, third grade, and fourth grade. Second grade being green, showing that Ralph right now is in second grade reading level. Billy being at a third grade reading level. Margaret being at a fourth grade level. Then we have the testing coming along, and we're going to only be comparing it to the reading since math doesn't kind of correlate here too much. So we'll be reviewing their NWA reading scores. Margaret over here had an R reading. She got a 184 on her test. So we're going to move her over to the 184 section. Okay. Then we have Billy, who got a 198. So we're going to move Billy over to the 198 here. Okay. Then we have Ralph, who got an L, who got a 200 on the NWA. Okay, so that's where they sit. The pride student that we have right now and the pride teacher that we are going to focus on just initially here is Billy's teacher. Billy's teacher assigned him to a level zero, sorry, level O in reading, and he got a 198, which put him in the perfect white light of good testing. That means the teacher assessment is doing well, as long with the NWA testing uh, verifying that the testing went well, as well as verifying that the testing session went well in terms of when he took the test. Next we have Margaret. The teacher was very confident in Margaret getting an R in her testing exam. So what we had do what we had this in this case, we had Margaret come back in and actually found out that she was having a pretty rough day on her day of testing. When she did uh, take the test again, she did not get a 184. She actually moved up to a 203. So that put her right here, proving that she was actually in the fourth grade and doing well. This is also the case where maybe the teacher was inflating the reading scores a little bit. This is also the t opportunity for uh, an administrator to have a conversation with the teacher, discussing which ways are they assessing with their students, but also, yes, having that uh, another uh, test to bring in the uh, results and kind of just being able to have those conversations. Next we have Ralph. Ralph received an L in his reading, but when he had the reading test, he actually got a 200. So that puts him actually out of the white light of testing. So in this case, either the testing session went really well, maybe he was on an IEP and received maybe too much help, or in this case, um, the teacher was being really too rough on the student. Uh, having a retake, we actually come to discover that the student got a 199 to there. So, oh sorry, we had the student reveal that he uh, got a 189, my apologies. So in that case, he actually just had too much help uh, during his testing session and actually did not do so well. This, this is just nice to find that your students are being accurately tested. This is great to do with either buttons or pins. A lot of teachers will have uh, the students make one to show their uh, one button to move along and so they can watch. Another teacher puts put this on their wall and had the students make pins and then uh, actually make three pins. So for each testing session of NWA, 
they have a yarn, a piece of yarn connecting their pins just so they can kind of have a trend analysis that they're making themselves. Also building future skills for them when they're going into middle school, high school, and well on to college. So this is my uh, data wall. Hopefully you're able to use it. I'm very available for any questions that you may have. Please don't hesitate to ask. All right, thank you. Bye.